we've all seen the milk ads with celebrities and sports figures wearing something that's supposed to look like a milk mustache, right? Well, here's something they don't tell you. Pasteurized milk often contains alarming levels of pus, Gross. also known as somatic cells, which are the same kind of cells produced in a giant zit on your forehead. Hey, Halle Berry, did you know that's pus on your lip? Nice pus stash, David Beckham. Pus makes me feel like a wine cup. Yo, Elizabeth, you may want to check your lip. There's pus on it. Hey, nasty. Is Carter screaming because he realized somebody just put a bunch of pus on his face? Hey, Austin Powers, you want to drink some more pus? Yeah, baby, yeah! Fact. According to the National Milk Producers Federation, the maximum level of pus, which they call somatic cells, allowed in milk currently stands at 750,000 cells per milliliter of milk. So an 8-ounce glass of milk can contain up to 180 million pus cells. The dairy industry knows that high levels of so-called somatic cells indicate poor milk quality and efforts have been made to lower the allowable pus content to just 450,000 cells per milliliter but those were rejected by the industry in 2011 which favors the higher allowable pus cell count of 750,000 pus cells per milliliter now these pus cells somatic cells are made with white blood cells produced by the cow in response to an infection of the mammary glands. It is essentially the same liquid you spray on the mirror when you pop a giant nasty zit. Zit juice cells are somatic cells, or pus cells, and that's what's also present in milk. The dirtier the dairy operation, the more infections the cows get, and the higher the pus count in the milk they produce. A typical milk mustache may contain over two million pus cells, meaning that all these celebrities and movie stars are actually promoting their faces smeared with pus. Yet they seem to be excited about it. Chris Brown thinks his pus stash is just great. Is Steven Tyler screaming in pain because somebody slapped his face with a pus stash? Elizabeth Hurley's pus stash just makes me want to hurl. And this milk ad featuring a UFC fighter makes a fraudulent medical claim saying that if you drink milk, you'll have bones of steel. Yeah, maybe lips of pus. Tyra Banks looks like somebody smeared a million pus cells on her lip. Nasty. And this guy wants to usher in a new era of drinking more pus. Wow. Jordan Sparks looks like she just won a free bottle of pus. Drink it up. The conventional processed milk industry also wants you to think that if you drink enough pus-filled milk, you might be a superhero. See? Even Superman is wearing a pustache with tights. And Green Lantern looks like he's gonna beat your ass while wearing a pustache. Batman seems to imply that he can fight crime with a scary pustache. What's he gonna do, pop a zit on the Joker? Hey, Wolverine, the one thing you really have in common with pus-filled milk is that you both contain high levels of synthetic growth hormones. So friends, if you really enjoy drinking zit pus, and you think having pus all over your face is really cool, then go ahead and fall for all those got milk ads. Drink more pus cells. Or you could drink fresh raw milk instead, which is significantly cleaner and more nutritionally intact because its digestive enzymes haven't been destroyed by heat. Certified organic raw milk comes from ultra clean cows who are kept extremely healthy with free range roaming, organic diets, and vastly superior sanitation during milking. You might even try drinking something other than milk. Did you know what has more calcium than a glass of milk? A glass of broccoli juice. Got broccoli? Learn more about raw milk versus pasteurized milk by visiting the URL below. This has been a presentation of the Nonprofit Consumer Wellness Center. This video is a non-commercial, informational, and editorial body of work protected by the First Amendment. Just as I have the right to exercise free speech, you have the right to choose fresh, unpasteurized milk.